Hello everyone. We will start with our new topic of smart forms. That is output type in smart forms. The important topic from the understanding perspective. Now, what is output type in smart forms? The word itself is saying it will tell us the kind of output which we want to produce or type of output which we want to produce. Suppose I'm going for printing. This is one type of output. If I'm going for email, it is also one type of output. If I'm going for fax, that is, this is also one type of output. So we will see now in SAP how to create a output type. Now, this all is functional person task to create a output type. Our task from a technical perspective is to create a smart form or a driver program depends upon the requirement. And we will give our smart form and driver program to the functional person, he will, he or she will create a output type and map our function, map our program or smart form with that output type. So output type creation is totally, totally a functional job. After creation, the output type, I will come on to that from a technical perspective or from a ABAP perspective, what is required. Now, suppose we created a smart form and driver program. And now we will give that smart form and driver program to functional person. So what functional will do? He will go to NACE transaction code. NACE transaction code. With the help of NACE transaction code, the functional person will create a output type and map our program or and smart form with that output type. Suppose, suppose we created a smart form which belongs to suppose, I'll say suppose sales area. So what functional will do after going to NACE transaction, he will choose the sales area. He will go to output types. He will create a new output type by clicking on the new entries button. You can see we have lots of already available output type. Suppose we will create a new output type. Suppose my output type name is suppose I will say ZORD and I will save this output type. Functional will set the other parameters also, but this is totally a functional person task. Now, after creating this output type, he will go to processing routines and I will go to new entries. Now, when we started with the topic output type, I told it will tell us the various types of output. So we have the various types of output. We can go for print also. We can go for fax also. We can go for email also. Depends upon the customer requirement. Suppose I will go for print output and here, the functional person will pass our program and smart form, which we created. Suppose I will check what the program and smart form is. This is the program which we created. And we will pass our smart form also. But this is totally a functional person task to map in the NACE transaction. What is the form type? Smart form and save. 
now for this particular output we have a print now we have a print now similar way we can go for other things also suppose we will go for email also so he will again go to new entries now this time suppose we will go for email suppose simple mail the functional person will map the smart form or driver program save now you can see for the same output type we have the printing also if we have the printing also we have the mail also so this is the way how the functional person is creating the output types now after creating the entries in the nest transaction after creating the output type and the corresponding entries for the output type whatever we created that will store into the table tnapr whatever you are creating in that nest transaction everything will store into tnapr table so in that tnapr table you can check the mapping of your output type program smart form everything you can check in tnapr table after creating the entry in nest transaction if i will display this table and i will go to the contents of the table in the nest transaction we created the output type zord just few minutes back suppose if i am passing and executing you can see we have two entries in the table because we created two entries one for print output one for email now you can say why one and seven is coming because if you will see one is for print seven is for simple email and what is our application area but we choose v1 what is v1 v1 is sales because when we did in the nest transaction we choose the application area as v1 v1 is sales now what is important from the technical perspective because this everything functional person will do in the nest transaction from a technical perspective we can create the program or we can create the smart form depends upon the requirement we will give it to functional person and functional person will map everything in the nest transaction now what is important from a, a bap perspective or technical perspective suppose you are working in a project and suppose or you joined a new project so what functional will give you functional will always give you the output type so your task is to identify that what is the smart form and program mapped to that output type suppose functional is saying there is a problem in this particular smart form and this is the output type so from a technical perspective you should be aware that if someone is giving us the output type it's our our task that how we can check what is the smart form binded to that output type so that we can go for respective changes so from a technical perspective you can simply simply go to tnapr table and whatever the output type functional is giving to you you can pass that output type and you can simply see in this table this is the program and this is the smart form behind that particular output type if i will show you the smart form this is the smart form behind that particular output type so what we learned in this video what is output type output type means 
what are the various kind of output it can be email it can be print it can be fax with the help of nase transaction nase transaction the functional will create a output type and bind our program and smart form to that output type after doing all this thing in nase transaction data will always store into sap table tnapr so if someone is giving you some output type so you can simply go to tnapr table and you can check what is the smart form and program bind to that output type and you can go for respective changes depends upon the requirement so this is maximum part will be done by the functional our technical from a technical perspective our task is to just check if functional is not telling the smart form or program name we can easily check this is the smart form and this is the program we have to go for changes in this particular technical so that's it in this video thank you